everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome back to my sewing room. But we are leaving the sewing room again today because we are headed to the Washington Midsummer Renaissance Fair. This is, to my knowledge, the only Ren Fair in the state of Washington and it happens every August for three weekends so we are going to take advantage and head out. I am wearing an obviously not at all really historically accurate thing today because it is fantasy and fairy tale weekend so we have decided to Disney bound and I am going as Rapunzel so very very excited to wear this and have fun all day and of course I'm taking you along with me so let's go we're in an interminable line to get in it goes on this is all the line to get in. I have found another Rapunzel. <laughs> another Rapunzel is a popular costume today. <laughs> It is very hot. This is a rain fair that takes place in a field in the middle of like nothing with lots of sun and it's very hot. So we're having a chill moment. They're behind me trying to create our own shade and then we're gonna go check out Brun.
protected cabinet. Now, uh, we are the trough of the Lions Connect. Uh, the trough is going to be the app. Basically, we are the support staff for the Lions Connect army. Most armies will have the soldiers do a lot of their work. But here in our Lions Connect army, they do not carry their equipment, set up their camp, cook their food, sew their clothes, sharpen their swords, mend their armor, or really do anything for themselves. <laughs> These soldiers instead would work on training and wrestling so that they would be absolute experts when it came to battle. They would, they would not even take part in the most important part of any war, looting the battlefield. Now, obviously, we did not last that long at the fair. I think we were there for about four hours, but it's just really hard when you are at a fair that is in the middle of a field with very little shade, no cloud cover, and it's like 82 degrees. So yeah, I'm glad that we lasted as long as we did. And we had a lovely time there at the end with our friend Francis just playing cards in his tent because he's part of like the cast or whatever on the fair at the fair so that was super super nice and we didn't even stay to eat or anything like that but uh, you know it was nice just like seeing the booths seeing the people all dressed up there were a lot of really cool costumes I hope that I caught at least a couple of them but of course I didn't stop everyone to ask for pictures and stuff and actually Rapunzel seems to be the costume of the fair today at least probably because it is fairy tale weekend there were at least four other adult Rapunzel's dressed up. There were, the three others were all in like cosplay as opposed to, you know, historical bound. And then there was one other who was in a historical bound, but she was like short hair Rapunzel at the end, which was probably a lot cooler for her. Honestly though, the wig like was not that bad in the heat. That wasn't what felt hot for me. Uh, other than right here, where it kind of felt like I was wearing a scarf. By the way, I do want to mention, I actually have this safety pinned 
to my bodice right here. When I first made this wig, I made it for a Rapunzel cosplay, and there are whopper poppers sewn onto the back of this wig and sewn onto the shoulder of the cosplay. But obviously, I'm wearing a different bodice, so I could not do that for this. But yeah, this the stays worked out well, though they're bubbling a little bit right here, which is weird, even though they're 18th century stays. And this is just like a blouse from Target. And then this was my Meg skirt that I made for Little Women. And honestly, it's been a super, super fun outfit. I had people giving me little favors at the fair and stuff too. Little kids coming up for pictures, people going Rapunzel, stuff like that. So that was all super, super fun. And it was actually more fun than wearing, you know, historical stuff to the fair. So that's going to be it for me for this video though. I do hope that you enjoyed this quick and little trip to the Washington Midsummer Ren Fair. If you are ever in Washington in August and you're looking for something to do, it I think always happens the first three weekends of August and I will link the website for the fair down below um, and I think like if you join their Facebook group and stuff like that they do discount ticket deals too. That was one of the things that I took advantage of this year which was really nice. Um, well I took advantage of it for last weekend when we were supposed to go to the fair until I got COVID and uh, luckily Francis helped us out with tickets for this weekend. Dora seems to want to be involved in this so I'm gonna hold her for our outro here. But thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please go ahead and click the thumbs up icon. And if you'd like to see more videos like this from me, please go ahead and click subscribe and the little bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. I am now back to posting videos twice a week with random costuming videos like this out on Saturdays and sewing vlogs out on Tuesdays, but I post every day over on my Instagram, so please go follow me on Instagram, that's at Lady Rebecca Fashions. And if you'd like to help support all of the work that I do on this channel, I do have a link to my Patreon and my Ko-fi down in the description below, or you can send me a super thanks right here on YouTube. I'd also like to give a special shout out to my Edwardian level patrons, Sharon, Julie, and Mirage. Thank you all so, so much much for joining me today. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Happy sewing!